Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is a review I have been meaning to do for literally months now. I was gifted this product in a goodie bag, I think at the end of the summer, so it's a bit embarrassing that I'm only posting it now, but better late than never, isn't that right? This is Dr. Auschke's foundation. Now, I think they only have one foundation in the range, and I just checked online, and the RRP is in and around the mid-30 range, so 34 to 36 euros. If you follow me for any length of time, you will know that I am a big fan of Dr. Auschke as a brand and everything they stand for. I love how they use as much natural organic ingredients as possible, and it's all sustainably farmed, etc., etc. However, my love for the brand is not going to influence this review in any way, shape or form. It's still going to be done the same as any other review. So this foundation claims <clears throat> nourishing and laterally luminous for all skin, light to medium coverage creates a flawless complexion. The formulation combines mineral pigments with nourishing botanical ingredients such as pomegranate, macadamia nut oil and coconut oil to hydrate and protect the skin. In the goodie bag we were also gifted a makeup sponge, as you can see I have never used it. And if we compare to a beauty blender they are identical in size, they don't feel the same though. This is much squishier and this is much denser, but I'll give this a go and if it turns out to be a flop I'll switch to beauty blender or a brush. So this is 30ml, it contains no SPF so it should be good for photographs. And the bottle looks like this, it's not your standard foundation bottle as it's not see-through. This is plastic and the lid is plastic and it does come with a pump. As you can see I'm dealing with some skin issues at the moment, I'm going to explain those to you. I have not dealt with any sort of breakouts for like two years now, since I started seeing my facialist. But at my last treatment with her she noticed that my skin was definitely starting to go a little bit weird so she decided to change my products. Um, and this is happening. I think it's the product, I'm not sure. So I've got my handy dandy little palette here. Oh, it's really thick. It's like really, really thick. Can you see that? It's definitely a cream. I'm going to wet my sponge and I'll be right back. Hopefully it expands, but I don't know if it will. Bear with me. Well, it made a liar out of me. It definitely did expand. So we'll see. I'm not sure if this is a Dr. Auschka sponge. I'm just going to apply it now to my skin. Okay, so it's definitely quite heavily scented. Kind of like an old lady smell. But I don't mind it. As long as it doesn't stick around for the day, I don't mind. The sponge is definitely very, very dense against my skin. It's not soft. It's not hurting me, but you can just tell it's like you're hammering something hard against your skin. But it's definitely applying the product. I'm gonna use a brush on the other side, I think, just to compare. But I'm pleasantly surprised by the sponge. I didn't think it would work as well as it did. Shade seems to be quite good compared to my tan, but on a pale day, I definitely couldn't wear this. Now I'm gonna take a brush, I'm gonna take the Real Techniques buffing brush. Okay, that's weird. It looks lighter on this side. Hmm. I don't know if you can tell but it's actually quite streaky with a brush. Definitely more work. And oh my God, like it's, it's definitely darker on this side than this side. That's so weird. Why would it be darker on the sponge side? Okay, it's getting darker now. It's just oxidizing, okay. Right, I definitely prefer the sponge side, so I'm going to go back and just kind of fix this side up with the sponge. It said light to medium coverage on the box, but I don't know if I necessarily agree with that. I think it's a definite strong medium. My issues are mostly covered. I'm not gonna use concealer just to see how we go during the day. As for finish, I feel it's like a, I wouldn't say it's, it doesn't feel very moisturizing. Do you know what? I think it actually looks really good. I'm looking at it in a magnifying mirror here. It looks pretty good in my more porous areas. I'm not mad at it. But I am gonna go and apply some concealer and the rest of my face and eye makeup and I'll be right back and let you know how I go. Texture-wise, it feels like, it doesn't feel tacky or anything. It feels almost like a, not quite a satin matte, but like a luminous matte, does that make sense? I will apply the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back to update you. Hey, so I'm back and I have my full face on. I didn't powder this foundation because I want to see how it would perform by itself with no assistance. I concealed a little bit under my eyes and a tiny bit down the center of my nose, just so that it didn't look, so it didn't look crazy to have the lighter under eyes. I applied bronzer, blush, highlight, and obviously eyes and lips. Um, I will say it is looking a little bit muddy over here. I'm gonna zoom you in and try and show you. 
I don't know if you can tell, it's looking a little muddy here and up here where the bronze are applied a bit patchily on top. But maybe I should have powdered, but I wanted to really see how the foundation performs strictly by itself. It's half nine in the morning. I will check back with you at the end of the day. Right now it looks okay. I will say the scent is lingering a little bit, but I'll keep you updated on that. And while I'm not absolutely obsessed with this foundation as it stands right now, there are other foundations that I don't like upon first application either. And then as I wear them, as my natural oils mix with the foundation, it can improve. So we'll see. Hello. It's just short of half past seven. So this foundation has been on for a full 10 hours. I was going to try and stretch it out till 12 hours but I figured it's not gonna change that drastically in the next two hours. And to be honest, I just wanna get into my pajamas and go to bed. That means I wanna have a shower first. So let's analyze this beauty, shall we? And I'm gonna zoom you in. Do I have a runny? It looks like I have a runny, I don't have a runny. Okay. Okay. Coverage is still mostly there, which I'm surprised by. However, I definitely still look quite muddy. I feel like the camera is going to be a little bit forgiving. My mom did tell me today though that she really liked my makeup. So there's that. And it still looked really good in my photo, if I do say so myself. So is this my favorite foundation of all time? Definitely not yet. Is it the worst foundation I've ever worn? Definitely not. Am I pleasantly surprised? I would say yes, because I'm not crazy oily and usually do get oily. Now I am drier at the moment, but considering I didn't set this, I'm pretty happy with the way it looks. Bit of chocolate there, so that's about that. Blush and highlighter still more or less still on and bronzer. Will I wear this again? I'm actually going to wear it again and I'm gonna keep trying it with different ways and techniques to see if I can get, oh, I'm gonna get you out of my face. I actually am going to keep trying to use this over the next few days and see what different techniques I might be able to use to get a more perfected base. And I will definitely keep you updated. I won't be posting this video now for about a week or so. So check the description box to see if I've had any success in a better application. But yeah, I'm actually quite pleasantly happy with it. It's definitely not emphasizing anything I don't want to emphasize. So yeah, those are my thoughts. Have you tried this foundation or have you heard anything about it? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. It really helps me out. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.